Hi guys, how's it going? Jake here from Esports Talk, back with another informative video and opinion piece that I hope you guys all enjoy. Okay, following some crazy news as of yesterday, guys, or a couple days back when we first covered this, Slasher, amidst other pro players, giving their responses to the fact that COD Champs, the biggest single Call of Duty event of all time, $4.6 million. We'll touch on that in the back half of this story when it comes time for Opti Gaming as well. And that gigantic prize pool, guys, the entire event being moved online, caused a lot of responses. A lot of pro players out there saying, obviously, Obviously, for health issues, this was the best call to be made, but people like Slasher did voice their complaints of how, with online competition, teams like Optic Gaming, who we have seen complain time and time again, it would be unfair. It's a shame that Call of Duty League happens in the first season of this, you know, what's supposed to be a great franchise, hopefully still moving forward as well. The first season is going to be all up in the air because majority of it's been online, and it will not be fair for all teams. I don't disagree with him too much. I don't know if there's a solution out there as well, but speaking of solutions, Sensor and Tyler Teep might be offering some that actually are viable reasons. I don't know if they're being legitimate in their offerings, but I do expect some teams like Optic to potentially travel, which Slasher also talked about being a potential risk for them to travel during these times, which again, He's very much right in that regard as well, as Sensor and Teep both took to Twitter to offer some teams out there their own homes and internet connections, and of course to local servers as well, to uh, help the teams out a bit. As Teep first said, let me know if any CDL teams want to rent out part of my new house with fiber. TJ Halley was the first to respond saying, I'm there, and Maven, the cold-blooded killer, said he's not putting up with your crap again. He obviously was joking, by the way, guys. And then Sensor replied to Slasher saying, if you stay in Cali for champs, you're asking to lose, in my opinion. You're welcome to come to my crib and play on Thousand Thousand Fios. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I think it's Fios if you need a place. And my oh my, even Blast responding, yo, Sensor later saying, LOL. And this is why I love the Call of Duty scene. In case you guys don't know, for the first one, that being Teep, of course, being responded to by a guy like TJ, he had already stressed uh, his, his issues with uh, Coach optic gaming in the past year which tj was a part of for any outsiders who are unaware of that they definitely had their back and forth and their issues which tp has vocalized so it's funny that tj was one of the first to respond obviously they're jokes okay just friendly banter and then of course when it comes to blast being a part of the, the whole sensor jet ski incident before this season even started and he's he's responding to sensor golly I love these Call of Duty storylines. We will see if any teams out there do travel to compete for that lion's share of $4.6 million. I do expect at least some teams to maybe give it a try, and they have their options and offers hopefully up in the air as of right now. Now, speaking of Optic Gaming, guys, what a... I wanted to touch on this for a solo video. Why not partner it up, though? That being Chino announcing his benching just yesterday on Twitter. And... Uh, let me try and put you guys in his shoes, okay? When I first see this, I feel for the guy who's been, you know, standing in for a time now with a roster who's already been struggling. They make these changes just weeks away, just over a month away from the biggest Call of Duty prize pool event of all time. And I imagine if Chino would have played the events up going uh, up until champs and including champs i'm not claiming to know how their contracts work but i imagine if he had played the upcoming events and cod champs as a starter he would be probably do the same split as the other members of that team if not a good portion of that Again, don't know how their contracts work, but assuming so, you can imagine someone who has now been removed from the roster, replaced by who knows what point of me recording, I have no idea yet, it might be announced by the time this video does go live, all of a sudden you're replaced just four to five weeks out of what your team will be competing for, the lion's share of $4.6 million. Now, Optic Gaming, they might not come away with much money at all, but the fact is this, they have a chance to win millions if not hundreds of thousands of dollars and all of a sudden out of nowhere five weeks out you're removed from the roster and your chance to have a big financial impact on the rest of your life you got to understand where this guy is coming from and why he was very very upset but even before and probably during posting this video hey guys just kind of wanted to make a video just to um explain how i'm feeling right now and uh what's my plan um so last night i was pretty upset you know i was mad angry frustrated everything like that um but at the end of the day, I mean, those guys are some of my best friends. They're my teammates. And I mean, if they felt like this, uh, the decisions were the best for the team, then, you know, it's best for the team. You know, I'm not going to be frustrated about it. Just, you know, I, it's, it's just hard, you know, but, um, I mean, who knows, maybe I'll get a chance to play a champs or something like that. Uh, if the team needs me and then, uh, next year, hopefully I can become a starter, you know, who just trying to do my best with what I'm giving kind of but uh right now I just plan on streaming every day trying to 
have good vibes, stuff like that, you know, still, still be the same guy, I always am, but, um, yeah, I just appreciate all the support, guys, appreciate everyone always supporting, and, uh, thank you guys so much, have a great rest of your day. So best of luck, my man. I'm going to be honest, guys. I've never really covered something like this. The first thing I think about, because when it comes time for big prize pools like this, we just don't see these kind of changes this close to big events. It's like a, a Dota team changing out, making a roster change just weeks away from the international. That that's a that's millions of impact right there as well. So Chino, I feel for you, man. Sending my prayers and thoughts and best of luck for the future. Because if I was in your shoes, I would be upset too. What do you guys think about that? Optic struggles continue. We'll see if they move and try and improve on those struggles when it comes time as we slowly, slowly approach future events, upcoming events, and most importantly, COD Champs, which will be online. Until next time, drink that Wawa, drink that Kaka. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Hey.